And finally, some miscellaneous items that are across many menus or different options here in PowerPoint. One of the useful tools that you might use from time to time is the screenshot feature. Basically, you can capture different sections or parts of your screen and put it as an image into your slides, into your actual slides. So let's say right here we click on screenshot and screen clipping and then I go anywhere in my screen here, capture these two, let's say, now notice whatever was on the desktop, it captured it and now I can format it and change it accordingly. So that's the screen capture option. The other one is the album option. You can create a new album. And the album is basically what it's going to do is it's going to take a whole bunch of pictures that you might have in the folder and create slides for you, one picture per slide. So this comes in very handy where you don't have to really tinker with them to resize them and all that type of thing. So you just tell the computer where the files are. You select all the files that you want to display. And then you just click on create. Now this is going to uh, fit them to the slide where you can choose a different layout. You can browse for a theme and then click on create. Notice at this point the pictures are resized. Another feature that you might use from time to time is under slideshow. And under slideshow is uh, it's called rehearse timings. So the rehearse timings, what that will do is that it will record the slideshow without any audio to it at this point, unless you are going to embed it as a sound in the background. But you can basically go through your slides click on them and it will record the time that you're spending or holding on to that slide in there. So notice the timer here. This is eight seconds. Now it starts again. Now once it's done, it's going to ask you, do you want to keep the timing? So you say yes. And if you present this or post it or do something with it, if you present it, it will go by itself. Notice this is the seven second area. And you could configure this so that when you run it, you can make it so that you loop it and press, and it will continuously loop until you press escape. So th that's PowerPoint. There are a lot of options and uh, the best way to learn about it and how to use it is basically by really looking through the different menus, looking through the different options on each one of the tabs on the ribbon and just play with all the functions and tweak it. But the important thing is to do the outline first because as you probably have seen here in our process, you're not thinking quite as much once you get into the colors and into the shapes and to the, the design, you're not thinking about the content. And the content of your PowerPoint is the most important thing.